Make sure you guys check out my boy King Sounds, new hip hop and rap album, King Talk, available on all digital platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, the whole nine. The link will be in the description and I'll post it in the comment section. Check it out. And I, I heard that they was debating uh, Dwayne Wade and who was better, Iverson, Allen Iverson, Dwayne Wade on Undisputed. And I've I been stopped watching that show. You know what I'm saying? It's the same talk about LeBron, skip over hate LeBron. Shannon overpraised LeBron, um, you know, and they got Shannon Sharp talking about basketball when he don't know nothing about basketball. You know what I'm saying? That's like having a scientist try to teach a math class. Probably not going to work out. Or having a scientist try to teach history or having a scientist trying to teach basketball. He should only be talking about football subjects. That's why they can't go into real intellectual NBA talking. Now, there ain't that many LeBron topics to go around. Now they're talking about who was better, Dwayne Wade or Allen Iverson. And it ain't close. Now, if y'all want to talk about rings, when they talk about LeBron, it ain't about rings. So which one is it? Dwayne Wade got three rings. One year, it was because of Shaq, and then he carried them home in the finals with some assistance from the referees. He got a foul call every time. But at that point, he was the best player in the NBA. Never got an MVP, won one scoring title, three first, three NBA all, two NBA all first teams, three second, three third, right? Um, never won an MVP. I said that already, right? But that really, really, like I said, at in 06 when he won the finals, he's the best player in the league. But let's talk about it, man. We back, Good Fellow Sports TV. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video, and check out our NBA Talk playlist, NBA 101. We just did a stream. That's our streaming playlist, live stream, and a retro hoop series, man. Uh, but personally, uh, Iverson was better than me. He was more impactful. When people talk about the impact Iverson had on the NBA, you got to put them up there with Bird, Magic, Jordan. Um, uh, I'm forgetting LeBron and Steph Curry. You know, and I feel like Steph Curry had a bigger impact on the floor than LeBron had on the floor. But LeBron had a bigger impact off the floor. You know, LeBron made it into a player's league. You know what I'm saying? So you got to look at the impact. But on the floor, LeBron didn't revolutionize the game at all. Um, you know what I'm saying? He didn't do nothing that we hadn't seen before. He didn't add nothing to the game. But with Iverson, you know, what he brought to the floor was without Iverson wearing and, and taking a grunt of the punishment, wearing the tattoos and wearing the baggy clothes or, or wearing what he wanted to wear, the earrings and the cornrows, Iver, Iverson took a lot of backlash for dressing how he wanted to dress. You know what I'm saying? And then he took the crossover. He He brought swag into the NBA. For real, he brought a different type of swag in the NBA. People forget that. The crossovers, the cornrows, finishing at the hoop. He was an Iron Man. You know, he wasn't taking no, he wasn't taking them days off and nothing like, nothing like that. Wasn't no low management. And he did something that Dwayne Wade could never do. He carried the team to the finals without nobody, without really nobody on there, bro. But Tumbo, he wasn't no the offensive threat. Aaron McKee was cool off the bench. Eric Snow, I couldn't stand Eric Snow. I don't know if he was a Spartan or just because he didn't seem like he brought no nothing to the floor. Year after year, he never extended his range. His jumper never became extent, uh, 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 consistent. Matt Geiger, uh, the ugly dude, uh, Tyrone, uh, I can't forget, he's one of the ugliest dude in the league. He didn't really have nobody on that squad. I think they had a Rajah Bell in the playoff run or something like that, but you know, Dwayne Wade, when people talk about championships and talk about resumes, he played with Shaq was still was still, you know, pretty much Shaq at that point. Without Shaq, they don't win that ring. He played with LeBron and, and Chris Bosch. So it ain't like he won the ring on his own. You know what I'm saying? Iverson didn't have that help. You know, Philadelphia wasn't able to draft uh to that point to get him a secondary sort uh, uh score. And then when they did get Andre Goodala, Andre Goodala was butt cheeks. He was just a good slasher and just a good defender. You know, they didn't, you know, Larry Brown, who I was running the Sixers, they didn't, you know, bring in another killer to help Iverson out. And I think Iverson would have would have patented his game to kind of fit around that guy. But, you know, to me, you know, Iverson, the greatest basketball player I've ever seen. You know, obviously, that's just my opinion. I still say Mike and Kareem is the GOATs. He's one of the greatest basketball players I've ever seen in my era. You know, the handles, the ability to finish at the rim, the durability. He led the league in steals a few years. Uh, like I said, one MVP. Scoring champ four times in the uh, four times Dwayne Wade did that one, but Dwayne Wade didn't revolutionize the game at all. You know what I'm saying? He's a cool player. He had a good mid range jumper. He got to the rim. He you know he finished. He was nice. He won the top guys you know in the league. You know you could put him up there with Clyde, and I definitely put him up there above James Harden because James Harden is a bum. 
in the playoffs when it really matter. He just a he just a he a front runner. You know what I'm saying? He front runner in the regular season. Then when shit get real, he high. Dwayne Wade hit some big shots throughout his career. He could finish at the rim, but he wasn't no Ivo, bro. He didn't bring what Ivo brought to the table, man. Ivo brought swag. He if you put him on that 76 er team, tell Shannon Sharp this with his dumb ass. You put him on that 76 er team. Do they make the finals? Absolutely not. He can't carry no team. When Dwayne Wade got to carrying teams, his body got to breaking down. You know what I'm saying? The reason he got a championship and Iverson didn't get the championships because the NBA liked them. Same thing with Mike. Mike brought money to the table. They made sure Mike got rings. Same thing with LeBron. LeBron brought money to the table. They made sure LeBron got a ring. They make sure certain superstars get a ring. And that's just a fact because it's good for business. They made sure they did everything in their power for Iverson not to get a ring. They made sure everything in their power, Iverson not to get a ring. Iverson had one play, uh, finals win, and that was over the Lakers, who didn't lose another game, who never lost, didn't lose another game that playoff run. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, you had to live it, or you had to be, like be in it to understand his mystique. Iverson was a dog. He put out, he put out Milwaukee big three in the playoffs, and their team was way more talented. Ray Rob, uh, Allen, I mean, shoot, <laughs> Ray Allen, Glenn Robinson. Sam Cassell, he beat that Toronto, uh, 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 he beat that Toronto Raptors team with Vince Carter. You know, he, he, he had a hell of a run. And this was a nigga that was doing it on his own, the ability to finish at the rim, get buckets, shoot, man. Iverson was a dog, bro. It ain't no comparison, man. It ain't no comparison. Wade was a good player, bro, but he wasn't no Iverson, dog. I don't care what the rings say, bro. He played with other all time great players. You tell me somebody in Philadelphia that, that Allen Iverson played that was all-time great. Nobody, bro. Wasn't no Shaq, wasn't no Brian, wasn't no Bosh. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't no Bosh. But motherfuckers had to beat her to, beat her to live. Most of these young guys was in high school where they lived Dwayne Wade runs and stuff of that nature with LeBron. Oh, he was a good player. For sure. But coming up in the 90s, dog, Iverson was the truth. He took a lot of pain and suffering Wearing them clothes and saying what he wanted to say and being brat and the NBA was never gonna let that nigga win. And remember, physically, he never fell out, he never fell off physically. You know what I'm saying? His attitude is what did it though. His attitude and just being a street dude, just being a hood dude. His attitude was did it, but it wasn't no point where you say Iverson fell off. He kind of was like Stefan Marbury. Marbury attitude got him out the league, but our Marbury still can hoop. So you never seen Marbury fall off a cliff. You never seen AI fall off a cliff. Dwayne Wade got that got that chance to fall off a cliff because, you know, he played the game the right way. You know, you look, he submitted to the LGBTQ plus community with his son. So he willing to, to do what make them people happy. He willing to listen and not lose it all. Iverson didn't give a fuck. Iverson was saying stuff that he wasn't supposed to say. He was doing what they hated Iverson because he paved the way for these niggas to wear tattoos. He come on, he got he got cream, bro. The hats, the clothes, the earrings, the corn roll. They was never gonna let him win nothing. You talking about ball handling, killing way, crossover, killing way. You know, they both could finish at the rim. They both was pretty good shooters. They was all right. But Iverson got his in a whole different way. His his degree of difficulty was tougher than Wade's shit. I don't care what nobody say. It's a lot of dudes that if they didn't run into Michael, and he was the guy, he was running to Michael. He came in the league towards Michael Taylor and run with the Bulls. He was running in, He was running into Michael. People forget that. You know? He was in that era. He was being denied. Philadelphia ain't won a championship since when? They ain't been there since Dr. J took them. It's a lot of dudes that people say, oh, that team. It's a lot of teams that didn't run into Michael Jordan, bro, and Kobe and Shaq will have a ring in LeBron era. That Barkley team in, in, uh, in uh, Phoenix. Um, um, Who else you got? That Supersonics team with, with, with Gary Payton, Kemp, and them. They would have had a championship in LeBron era. You know, it's a lot of teams that would have. The Patrick Ewing teams that lost in 90, well, 99 and, and earlier Patrick Ewing teams. Man, it's a lot of dudes that would have that had, that had motherfucking uh, – that would have that would have had rings, bro. Rasheed Wallace and the Portland Trailblazers, they had a ring of LeBron era. You know what I'm saying? And and people talk about Allen Iverson. And he only got one win in the finals and and this that and the third man. Look who he was going against, dog. I was there for that playoff run. Derek Fisher got off IR and he was just shooting the blood out the ball that whole run. 
They had that was that that Laker team was that was their best. When they all together, Derek Fisher came off injury, Kobe Shaq, that day was just the Ori fight. They was just a problem. You hated them niggas, dog. They you know they was gonna win. You know, they was just a problem, man. But if you look at what Ivo brought to the league, man, it probably never be done again. You know, but you had to see it when people go off stats. You had to see what he was doing, man. It was it was just phenomenal. He was just a phenomenal athlete, bro. Phenomenal ball player. You know, he's one of the greatest two guards I ever seen, bro. For real. Dwayne Wade was a better defender, though. I will get out of him. D Wade, man, D Wade was a better defender. You know, but you know LeBron, but Iverson led the league in steals a few times too. But Dwayne Wade, he was a good player. Don't get me wrong. D Wade was nice, but he wasn't Iverson, man. It's it's a gap. It's a nice little gap between them. He, he wasn't that, bro. He just had, he just, you know, he just happened to have the right help. You know what I'm saying? He had proper help. He had proper teams. Pat Riley took care of him. You know what I'm saying? Pat Riley took care of him, bro. He made sure they got Shaq. They made sure they got LeBron and Bosh. You know, but, you know, it's hard to really say rings really separate people, you know, but it, they do. They do. You know what I'm saying? You know, when, especially when you three and six in the finals and you stay choking and shit like LeBron. But hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. I just, I live through Iverson. It, it ain't even close. Dwayne Wade ain't even that pedigree of a uh, uh, ball player, man. But hey, that's just my humble opinion, bro. And plus, Iverson played in a tougher era, too. You know what I'm saying? Where they still was hacking and he getting fucked up going down the lane. You know, Wade has some assistance, bro. That 06 finals, I ain't never seen that many fouls called, bro. They was down like 02, and the NBA gave that to them. But you know, like I said, it's two different eras. A lot of the young guys don't understand that in the 70s and the 80s, it was different from the 90s and the early 2000s. And now it's totally different. The NBA is watered down, it's soft. You know, I remember seeing people get choked and smacked and punched and they fighting and wasn't nobody getting thrown out. So, you know, it's a different era. It's softer. And that's why the NBA ratings ain't shit because it's not a good product at this point. So it is my, it's my opinion, but let me know what you guys think. Check out our NBA talk playlist. NBA 101, a retro hoop series. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, reach out to me there if you got business, inquiry, sponsorship, video quests, want to make a donation to the channel. That link's in the description. Cash app, PayPal. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time we don't.